How are you all doing? What are we going up to in this video? Well, I'm feeling in a good mood, so I've decided I'm going to try and get the carburetors off today. But we all know what this bike is like, so uh, let's see how long my good mood lasts. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is undo these two bolts, one there and one there, so we can move the air filter box out of the way. So that's the two bolts removed. Now we're going to have to undo all these flange clamps. So that's all the clamps loosened off. Now I'm going to have to remove this pipe. Right, so now the uh, air filter box should pull away, like so. So now we can undo all the uh, carburetor flange bolts, which is going to be very tricky. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we've uh, undone all the uh, flanges. I've took this cable off, I can't quite get to that one, but I'll get to that one when we've pulled these off. So let's try to pull these babies off. <laughs> there we go. Now let me remove this cable, then we can take these over to the bench. Right then, got them on the bench, let's pull this first bowl off. Does it look like? Bit of rust in the bottom there. This one looks pretty clean considering I was thinking this is why the bike won't start. I think I'm barking up the wrong tree again. Anyway, let me take the rest of them off to see if they're all as clean as the first one. Okay, yes, so as I thought they all look pretty clean. Uh, there is bits of rust in the float bowls, so maybe that has got into the jets. I have taken this pilot jet out, and that all looks nice and clean. So let me do the rest of them, and I'll be back in a bit. So that's all the pilot jets checked. This one was locked, so I've cleaned that one out. Now I'm moving on to the main jets and they look okay as well. Well, this first one does, but I've got to do the rest of them. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so that's all the main jets checked and they seem to be okay. So now I've just been looking at the floats and they don't seem to be set correctly. Uh, my carburetors are the VG and not the VP, the VP must be the newer model uh, and if we go down to float height should be 9mm so I've set my verger to 9mm well it's 93 but that's neither in there if we put the verger on there you can see that that one is too low that one is fractionally too high Fractionally too high. The last one. Fractionally too low. I'm sure you all know how you set these. You just get to the little tab inside there and very slightly bend it with a screwdriver to lift or lower the float. And also when measuring the heights, you shouldn't have them standing up like this like I have. They should be leaned over so they're at the opening point like that. And just lead them back till they stop like that and that's where you should set them. Because if you put them back like that, the weight of the float could give you a false reading. 
that's what it says in the book anyway. So let me uh, sort all those out and I'll get back to you in a bit. OK, that's all, that's all the flow types checked. One, two, three, four. So let's get them all back together and uh, get on with it. Uh, can I just say before I start getting the troll police uh, comments with the uh, float bowls? Yes, I am cleaning them out before I put them back on. And also, when I'm putting them back on, I put in a dab of silicon grease on the screws before I put them back in. Just so it makes it easier for the next person who undoes the carburetors. Just like that. They're all back together. Uh, I did set the uh, pilot air jet screws which are just, just there, that little brass screw there there's one there and then you go to this side then there's one there one there and there uh, one down there and I have reset those because they were slightly out they were two and a quarter turns out well, one of them was one and three quarters and the other three were two and a quarter but they should be two turns out I've also checked the diaphragms and sliders but I haven't took the caps off I've just done it by feel I just lift them make sure they're all the same height I'll just lift them make sure they're free and make sure you can hear that noise. Number three. Number four. So they all seem to be okay as well. I've also vaguely checked the uh, butterflies for synchronization. Let's make sure they're all closed. Uh, this one was slightly open so I've just adjusted it on the uh, adjust the screw there to make sure it's closed like all these you can't see no light through them yeah, I suppose really it's just a bench sink a bench sink just synchronization on the bench so they should be set good enough to get the bike started and running so I'm just checking my uh, homemade manifold rubbers I did say I was going to buy some new ones but uh, that's not going to be for a while yet I don't know if you can see the indentations of the carburetors on the inside of these boots. These three look pretty good, but the last one doesn't have a so deep indentation. I don't know if it's showing up on this camera, but uh, I think I might take that one off and uh, make another one, just a little touch bigger. OK, so now we've got this rubber off. Got to try and make it a bit bigger than it was. So that's the old one. This will be the new one. You can see I've just made it fractionally bigger. Uh, put it on this stanchion tube because it's easier to cut through with the uh, Julia axle. So let me cut through that and then we'll try and get it back on the bike. But before I do that, I've got to go to Arridge for a few days to do some gardening at the empty house. So that means we're in the car up again with petrol. Driving all the way to Arridge. Where is that fucking boat? Trying to find the local shop so we can do some shopping. I'll take the chunky monkey for a little walk. Why am I better off? Does the shopping. And yes, it's amazing what you can find in the little car park.
thought we'd probably go down the beach for an explore. And yes, it looks like mopeds get stolen in Arich too. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been of some use to uh, people who's taken the carburetors off. Sorry I had to cut it short, but uh, when well, you've got to go, you've got to go. And before you go, just uh, leave a comment to say if I look cooler with my glasses on or cooler with my glasses on top of my head. So yeah, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. See you in another life, brother.